blessed are you, O Lord our God, who reigns over all the universe in love, who led Sarah and Abraham and their children in hope, who freed the enslaved children of Israel from Pharaoh's Egypt, who fed your people with manna in the wilderness and the words of the prophets, who went into exile with your beloved people and brought them home, who came among us in the human life of Jesus, who broke the power of sin and death by dying on the empire's cross, who has gathered us by your Spirit's pull from all nations and languages, who leads us onward and feeds us still, whose love brings resurrection and renews all creation. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you. Answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your victory and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord will help his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with mighty victories by his right hand. Some take pride in chariots and some in horses, but our pride is in the name of the Lord our God. They will collapse and fall, but we shall rise and stand upright. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Answer us when we call. kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. reading from Ephesians. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. So then remember that at one time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is the hostility between us. We 
we lift up to you, Lord Jesus, our praise, our thanks, our deepest selves, in all the places your beloved world hurts. Heal the disease in our bodies and in our hearts as well. Where we are coldly indifferent, hold us in the fire of your love. Where hatred infects us, remove its poison. Where we are bent in on self, turn us outward to you and our neighbor. Where we are dead inside, call us back to life. That we might be your wounded hands and feet, raised up for your work to make all things new. Amen. God, whose love embraces all the world, who loved us when we were far off, estranged, and enemies of yours, come and be our help. We struggle to love others. We have been hurt and wounded. We are upset at those who have harmed us or those we care about. We struggle with bitterness inside our hearts, and we wrestle with how your justice and mercy can meet in all this mess. Help us, help me, a child of yours, whom your love still seeks and claims when I am turned away from you, to seek good for all people, even those I most struggle with, those I have trouble accepting, and those I fail to love. I pray not for their victory over me or mine over them, but for you to win over us all for your will to be done in and through and among us, leading us into that promised day when lambs and wolves lie down together, weapons are beaten into plowshares, and bitter enemies can be reconciled in your fierce, relentless love. Love. 